Philadelphia, and it's so depressing. But, I mean, at least we can make desserts this week. Desserts always help you get through anything, right? Today we're doing stuffed beignets. How, how good does that sound? Beignets as they are, are, I mean, absolutely delicious. You wonder what in the world could make a beignet even better. Philadelphia cream cheese. We're using strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese, blueberry Philadelphia cream cheese, and pineapple Philadelphia cream cheese. I have two different batches of my stuffing already uh, mixed up, but I want to show you how I'm making each different stuffing. I've already diced some strawberries, and I've sliced some strawberries because we're going with strawberry one first. So let me take my Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese and my strawberries over to my plate. So with the strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese, let's spoon out four ounces into the strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm going to add half of a cup of powdered sugar teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to blend this together until everything's mixed in. We add a fourth of a cup of diced strawberries. And yes, I have already washed my hands. And hold in the strawberries. Now using a pastry bag, with just a regular coupler. We're we'll fold it over. And put my strawberry cream cheese mix in my pastry bag. Now I'm going to set this in the freezer. In this pastry bag, I've diced up some fresh pineapple and I used the Philadelphia pineapple cream cheese and the same ingredients, half a cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then in this one, I used the blueberry Philadelphia cream cheese. Put in some fresh blueberries, same, same ingredients. Today is a type of a donut. It's a mix between a donut and a funnel cake. But I assume, you know, being from Louisiana, just assume everybody knows what a beignet is. But usually, you know, you, in New Orleans, you can go down to the Café du Monde or little uh, stops along uh, the streets of New Orleans, and you can find some beignets, and people sit down and drink some chicory grocery stores, or especially stores, you can find some Café du Monde beignet mix. This makes it so much easier than making the beignets by hand. We're going to add two cups of the beignet mix. To seven ounces of water. And we're going to just stir this together. Mix it all. Dough is going to be pretty sticky, so we're going to need a lot of flour. About two, two and a half inches high of vegetable oil in our Dutch oven. We're going to go ahead and preheat that because we want that to get to 370 degrees. So it's time to roll out our beignet mix. I'm going to sprinkle some flour on my cutting board. Spread it around because this is going to be sticky. Spoon out some of our beignet mix. Sprinkle some flour on top of my beignet mix as well as flour my rolling pin. And we want to roll it out to an eighth of an inch thickness. So I've rolled my first batch. Now it's time to cut them into the slices by two and a quarter inch. So here. Here. OK, 
Okay, so I have one of my beignets. I'm just going to stretch it out. And I have my strawberry cream cheese mix. I'm going to fill the middle with about a tablespoon of the strawberry cream cheese. Pull this over. Use my fork to get it in there to make my indentions because we don't want the cream cheese coming out. And putting it in we the hot oil. from the oil. Sprinkle it with powdered sugar. And we're going to garnish with some strawberries. Maybe do a strawberry fan. And there's our strawberry beignets. Pineapple cream cheese mix. And in this one I have a big coupler because I do have chunks of pineapple in here. And in the center of my beignet, I'm going to pipe about a tablespoon of the mix. Fold it over and with a fork just press the edges together now we're going to drop it in our hot grease to fry it keep turning it over and basting it with the hot oil so it continues to puff up tray here and I've already dabbed a little bit of the blueberry cream cheese mix in the center some more of the pineapple cream cheese and you can see the chunks of pineapple that we added and the chunks of blueberry and then right here will be my strawberry cream cheese mix and you know, the leftovers that you have after you filled all your beignets and fried them and decorated, there's an endless possibility what you can do with the cream cheese you have left. This is great. This will go on pancakes, waffles, uh, French toast, cookies, cakes, angel, just angel food cake. Okay. My blueberry beignet set on top. Then my pineapple and my strawberry. I'm going to cut this in half so you can see. That cream cheese that we've stuffed in the center. Doesn't that look so good? These are so good. Mm. And the thing about beignets are they're good any time of the day. Mm. Like I said, just when you thought beignets couldn't get any better, stuffing them with a flavored cream cheese. Mm. Well, I'm Cynthia Gazoo from Shreveport, Louisiana. Y'all have to try these beignets.